Memories cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight, chemicals collide. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Hey you guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Amanda and I'm so glad that you're here. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button before you leave. Also go ahead and follow me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is always linked down in the description box below. Let's go ahead and jump into today's video. So as you can see, uh, I have no makeup on. I've had a few people asking for me to do like a full face tutorial. So I figured I would do a full face chit chat, get ready with me. I have some things to do today. So I figured while I did my makeup, I would go ahead and chat with you guys and catch up on what's been going on in my life, get some opinions from you guys. I really just need to talk to you guys. I have a lot going on and it's nice because I feel like you guys are my friends out there in YouTube world. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and do some makeup. So the first thing that I do, let's go ahead and put on a primer. The primer I've actually been using lately, a very big surprise to me because we actually got this in BoxyCharms. If you watch my BoxyCharm video, you would see that I was like kind of against this primer, but I decided, like I said, I was gonna try it out for you guys. It is the No Pore Blim Prime Essence Primer. It's supposed to shrink your pores. I'm not sure if it really shrinks my pores, but the other primer that we got from the uh, touch and soul actually broke me out super bad. It was a pore filling primer, but because I have super big pores and super sensitive skin, everything seems to make my face break out. So this one hasn't even given me a breakout yet. I'm like kind of hitting this with primers. Like I used to be totally against them and like didn't believe that they did anything, but I don't know, like recently I've really been wanting to use a primer. I feel like it does help like in the summer months with my skin. The only thing I can say is this primer is super, super runny. It's like a super thin liquid. It's not like thick, like a pore primer would normally be. This one says that it's supposed to shrink your pores. It does make my makeup go on nicely and it doesn't seem to like make me get oilier or break up my makeup like during the day, which is good. That's kind of like what I look for in a primer. The next thing I go ahead and do is I do my eyebrows. So I might just speed through this whole eyebrow process. I do have a eyebrow tutorial on my channel. Just go through my playlist and you'll see makeup tutorials and then I'll have like my most recent eyebrow tutorial that I do. So I'm gonna go ahead, do my eyebrows really quick and then I'll be right back. Okay, don't we look sexy? This is how I normally do my eyebrows. I actually got this like method from my sister. She basically just like does her eyebrows first, like it's the shape and everything. And then it makes it easier because then you can clean it up with concealer and everything and get the shape you want. And then later on I'll go back through and I will just do like some brow hairs in the front and then I'll use like some brow gel and stuff. But first I do my foundation and stuff. So next, let's go ahead and do our eyeshadow. I don't always do it, but sometimes I do but it just makes you have like a cleaner line and then you don't get like any fallout underneath your eyes. So let's go ahead and do our eyeshadow. So for my eyeshadow, since today I am wearing yellow, this shirt's really wrinkly, but I have to go downstairs and iron it. So let's do yellowy gold kind of eyeshadow today. I think that would be really pretty, maybe like a bronzy and then do like yellow. That's, that's kind of what I'm feeling today. So for that, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to use my Jaclyn Hill palette for some of it. And then I'm also going to use my other Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, my favorite one from The Vault. Armed and gorgeous. I use this palette constantly. As you can tell, it is pretty well loved. So let's do something with this. What is happening? My camera won't focus on my face. Hello. Why do you want to focus on the yellow? Is the yellow too bright for you today? What is your problem? So if my camera keeps going out of focus, I can't keep looking over here. Ooh. I can't keep looking over at the viewfinder, but for some reason, my shirt keeps making it want to go out of focus. So um, yeah, if it goes out of focus, I'm sorry, but I can't control it. So I'm going to go into first the Armed and Gorgeous palette, and I'm just going to get a brush from Morphe. This is the MB25. It is my favorite brush from Morphe. And we're just gonna put the color Access, which is this really nice like yellow color. And we're just gonna put that in our crease. Oh, actually, <laughs> what the hell am I thinking? I gotta go ahead and put something on my eyelids. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Shape Tape Concealer, prime my eyelids so that eyeshadow has a nice base to stick to. There's probably a reason why people don't do a makeup tutorial like this because you look crazy. Now we're gonna do our eyeshadow. So we're gonna go into the color Access from the Armed and Gorgeous palette from Morphe. We're gonna put that 
in our crease. This is just our transition color. I like to go pretty high up with this color because it does sometimes get lost with all the other colors that you're doing. Let me zoom you guys in. We're gonna put that yellow color in our crease and like above our crease. So let me tell you a story that happened to me this week. It's story time, yay! So this week we had some stuff happen to us that, you know, is life. Life sucks sometimes, you know, it can just, life can be a bitch. My camera is having major freaking difficulties right now in focusing. I went and changed my shirt because I thought maybe like that was why it wasn't focusing. I don't know. Ugh, that's what I'm talking about. When it rains and pours, like just stop it, stop it. So this week we had a, life situation that happened to us. As some of you guys know, if you've watched my other videos, my husband is military and things that come along with being military is like, they all get deployed, they'll, you know, have different duty bases. Sometimes you don't even get a choice where you live. They just move you. Um, and so basically we had the option because we've been in for quite a long time and we've been in the same area for a long time. We had to make a decision because sometimes you don't get a choice of where you get to go if you've been here for like a really long time. Like paperwork's kind of weird like in the military. And so we've been at our certain area for like almost 10 years and we know that it's probably coming time due for us to move. So. We just figured, you know, we might as well just volunteer for him to go to Korea for a year. I could have went with him, but if I would have went with him, then we would have had to go for two years. And I really just didn't want to put our life kind of like on hold, go to Korea for two years. For me, that's just not really where I wanted to go. I'd rather just stay with my family for a year. And then when he gets back, then we are actually going to Italy. So I actually had to go ahead and go switch over to my G7X because my T7i is being crazy right now. It will not focus on my face. So uh, yeah, if you hear like any like auto focusing, the focus on this camera is a little bit loud. Okay, so now I'm going into the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm just gonna be using this color right here. It's kind of like a brownish, like yellowy, orangey color. And we're just going to put that in our crease. And sorry if you can see my mirror, but I gotta see my face. I said in my last video, I'll be moving in with my parents and so I'm you know kind of stressing out about that because I've lived on my own with my husband for you know 12 years and so it's kind of different to like move back into your parents house I know a lot of people do it and it's just for a year but like I'm moving a whole household with animals and I'm just used to having my own space and like there's only one other person that lives in this house besides my brother he's just here like short term but I've been used to for the past 12 years of having my own space I don't love change if you guys know me at all. Then I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease. I am going to use the shape tape again and I'm gonna cut my crease. This is, will be the longest that we've been away from each other, which is pretty sad because he is my BFF, you know, um, and you get used to having that person around all the time. And he does, you know, he's like very, he's a very good husband, so. It'll just be interesting to see how I do. I mean, I am an independent woman and I'll be fine like on my own, but I'm just glad we don't have kids and stuff so then we don't have to put our kids through that. So hopefully this year will fly by pretty quickly. This year I'm just gonna use to focus on me and my channel and my Instagram. And so now I'm just gonna pat that out. For our eyelid shade, let's see what kind of color we're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna do the color. It's from the uh, Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette, Drippin' Diamonds. It's more of like a bronzy gold color. I like to use my finger whenever I do my eyeshadow, and then I go in with a smaller like detail brush, and then I just clean up like the edges. So I'm just trying to focus on the positives. But right now, um, the latest thing that happened to us is um, <sighs> something that really sucks and that's why I'm kind of stressed out and I kind of want to talk to you guys about it. So I've always had my own car ever since we've been married. I've always had my own transportation. I've never had to only have one car. It's kind of like, you know, I've become accustomed to having my own car. I want to go where I want to go because you guys know I don't work. I'm a stay-at-home wife. So I just... 
I like to be able to go to the grocery store if I want to. I want to be able to go to the mall because that's how I film my videos. We're driving my husband's car, which we are planning to trade in when he leaves because we have two cars right now and I don't really want to deal with two cars while he's gone. So we're going to trade both of our cars in and get one car that I would drive while he was gone and then we would take that one with us when we move to Italy. Well, we were not planning on doing that until right before he left. So we were going to still have two cars. Well, um, we were leaving the Raising Cane's drive through and all of a sudden he starts cussing. And I'm like, what's going on? Apparently his power steering went out. His battery ended up dying because of it. And we were kind of like stranded at Raising Cane's. So we actually ended up being able to get the car to turn back on because the battery had died. And now I'm taking the color coin and I'm gonna also put that in the center of my eye to do like a more of a halo effect. I'm just putting that right in the center. But, so we ended up being able to take it over. We got it started. We took it over to one of the dealerships. And so now we're in the process of trying to figure out um, what kind of car we want to get. I think that's actually where we're going today is to go see about buying a new car. I'm going to go ahead and do my foundation now. I'm going to use my Estee Lauder Double Wear. I'm in the shade Ivory Beige. I think this is pretty much my summer shade. Someone said in one of my videos that like my face makeup was really light. So I went ahead and um, got a darker shade. This one's like a lot darker. So hopefully this is more of my shade. I really wanted a sporty car. So I was like, okay, well, what's kind of similar to the Miata, but has four seats. And that's actually really hard. So originally I actually didn't want the Miata. I actually wanted a Camaro. So the new 2019 Camaro is what I wanted, but then we went and test drove the Camaros and that baby has so many blind spots. It is insane. Let me go ahead and finish my foundation really quick and then we'll keep talking because this video is going to be super long. Okay, so now we have our foundation done. Let's go ahead and do my concealer. I normally only do concealer underneath my eyes just to brighten them up a little bit. I don't do like the whole like in the middle of your face, all that stuff. I just do little weird triangle-y things underneath my eyes just to brighten it up a little bit. Okay, so now that we have our concealer on, let's go ahead, I always put powder underneath my eyes. Let's go ahead and put our translucent powder on. I actually need to get a darker powder for this foundation because this one's really light. So I'm just gonna put that underneath my eyes and then I do put it on my nose. And then in the summer, I don't really put like a lot of powder on like my forehead because when I sweat, then my powder comes off my forehead. So I'm just gonna put it on my nose and then right under my eyes, like in my T-zone basically. And we're gonna do our bronzer. The bronzer I've been using lately is the MAC Global Glow. This one I actually got as I thought it was a highlighter, but when I put it on my face, it's more of a bronzer. This one's more of like an orangey bronzer, but I kinda wanna be like a bronze goddess today. So like, that's what we're gonna end up doing. And I'm gonna use my brush from BH Cosmetics. It's the number three brush. It's like a little contour brush and I just contour my cheeks. Just a little bit. Okay, then I go ahead and I take my Lorac Pro palette and I take the lightest contour shade and then I just do a little bit of contouring on my cheekbones because I have a very round face. I don't really contour a whole lot. I just put like a little line under that bronzer. I do a little bit here at my temples. Then because we have our powder on our nose, I just dust it off using my beauty blender. I kind of like pat it in. And then I cannot not contour my nose now. Ever since I started contouring my nose, I'm like obsessed with it. So I take that same brush and just do a quick little nose contour. I'm not like a super good contour of my nose, I don't think, but I just really like the way it, it makes my nose look like a lot straighter, but that's just kind of like what I do. See how it gives like a little bit of shadow on my nose. Let's go ahead and do blush since we're doing like a goldy look. Let's use my favorite blush. I'm obsessed with it. It's the Laura Geller, but it's the golden apricot blush. I'm obsessed with it. It's like their baked blushes. They're amazing. I'm almost out of it. 
but I love it so much and so I'm gonna use it. So then I'm gonna use my Lexi blush brush, the 512. It's actually a small contouring brush, but I don't like big fluffy blush brushes. I like to be able to control where my blush goes. Okay, now let's go ahead finish our eyeshadow. Let's go back in into the Morphe Armed and Gorgeous palette and we're gonna go back into that yellow color access and we're just gonna do a little bit of that underneath our eyes. I really like how this looks underneath my eyes. I think the yellow looks really cool and it ties in with the yellow that's on the top. Because we are moving, I'm having a hard time doing my whole three videos a week thing. It's been kind of hard. I've been trying to keep up, but I'm trying to pack and I'm trying to spend time with my husband. So I'm trying to like play around with the idea of maybe going down to two, maybe one video a week. I really don't want to do that, but it just depends on how hard it gets to keep up with the three videos a week. It's a lot of editing. You know, each video can take between two to three hours to edit and then I have to find time. And now that we only have one car, um, we're going to trade both of our cars in. It's getting kind of hard. I'm going to use my Better Than Sex mascara, but it's been really hard to be able to go and do like inside the dressing rooms for you guys. So I'm kind of struggling with trying to figure out how I can still get content on my channel without, you know, sacrificing like videos for you guys. So I possibly will go down to one to two videos a week just until September. So I just bear with me the next two months because, um, it's just been really hard trying to like find time to get everything done you know it's only me and him like packing our house and everything for right now i'm still gonna try to do three videos i'm gonna try to do three as long as i can until maybe it gets a little bit too much for me but um kind of leave your ideas down in the comments below would you guys be okay with me doing more more makeup videos more maybe like lifestyle videos vlog videos of like packing and stuff because i do want to be able to do videos for you guys but i can't do a lot of fashion videos unless they're hauls and you know hauls can get expensive so um what do you think do you guys want just one fashion video a week do you guys want um me to like i said do more lifestyle kind of videos more vlogs so that you guys still get a video on my channel every week let me know because i'm just really struggling and i'm kind of stressing out about it let's go ahead and put on some fake lashes so lately i've been really feeling kind of like the more toned down lashes these are the salon perfect lashes i like these ones a lot i think they're really cute but they're kind of more on like the simpler side these ones are the demi wispies from them i really like them because their band is so tiny okay so now that we have our lashes on let's go ahead and finish my brows so my favorite thing to do is use the mac shape in shade brow tint it's just like this little pen it's kind of like an eyeliner pen but then it has like a little tippy on the front and then i just go ahead and draw little hairs in the front of my brows because I don't have a lot of hair there. And then it kind of gives it a more realistic, you know, eyebrow. I mean, obviously this is like a super filled in eyebrow, but it gives you more of a natural eyebrow in the front, I would say. And I like to take the little pen and then just kind of add a little bit more definition to the tell of my brow. And then let's go ahead and use some brow gel. I've been using a brow gel that I got from the dollar store. It's the Ardell Brow Building Fiber Gel. And I actually got it from the dollar store. I actually really like it a lot. It's like a fibery kind of brow gel. And then I just run that through my brow. For the next thing, let's go ahead and put on some highlighter and then we'll do our lipstick and then we'll be done. And my favorite highlighter recently is the Artist Couture. It's their Diamond Glow Powder and the color is Illuminati. It's like this little powder that has like so much in it. This will last me seriously like the rest of my life. I got it in a BoxyCharm, but I just really love how it's really, really like illuminating but it doesn't get like messy and all over your face even though it's a powder. I really like it a lot. It's like this really pretty gold color. I actually had someone mention my highlighter in one of my other videos recently and said like, oh, your highlighter is great. 
Well, this is what I was wearing in that video. Then for my lipstick, I'm gonna use the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the color Miami Fever. I'm obsessed with this color. It's like an orange. It reminds me of like the color of bricks. Okay, you guys, so that is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I got a few things off my chest that I wanted to share with you. Like I said, let me know in the comments what you guys think about the whole video thing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I have to go ahead, run out. I need to go ahead and try to find a car. So wish me luck. I will do a video, maybe like a vlog or something, letting you guys know what we decided to get. Thanks for letting me sit here and chit chat with you and rant and ramble on while I did my makeup. Head and subscribe to my channel before you leave. I make videos here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I have my Instagram link down in the description box below. I post there every single day about plus size fashion and makeup. As always, remember, be your own kind of beautiful and toodles for now. Oh. What is the freaking problem, man? Focus. So why won't you focus on me?